hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you how I prep my skin for makeup now I don't know why I thought of it but I was like oh you know like doing makeup tutorials and all is fine but it's important to show what you know you should apply on your face before makeup and I'm right next to the window so the light might go a little bright and dim okay so these products I used it first time for Kirti's wedding because I remember I was not doing that well um, health wise during her wedding I was sick plus my skin was not doing that well and um, no matter how sick you are no matter how much pain you are and if it's your best friend's wedding you have to look good so I remember doing these uh, so basically I did my makeup in the hall in the wedding hall but I did my skincare at home because uh, I usually like letting my skincare you know set in and you know be there for some time so um, yeah so I will show you the products that I use uh, before I do makeup now I do it all the time because I remember during her wedding my makeup stayed on for so long and it looked so amazing I remember I came back home around 11 45 or something and um, when I looked at my makeup it looked flawless it looked just like how I had applied it for her wedding so for me this was like you know like like those magical products that really worked well and I didn't want to like change anything so from that time I've been using this products and I thought I should share it with you guys so yeah okay so the first product that I use is this uh, retinol moisturizer firming toning and re rejuvenating now this product is actually a night cream it is supposed to be uh, applied at night before sleep because it like firms your uh, skin and all of that it has hy hyaluronic acid vitamin E and green tea but I use this as under eye eye cream because uh, it instantly gives you the feeling of tightness and it, it like it, it smoothens your under eyes if that makes sense and from the time I've been using this I have been you know loving the way my concealer sits because it, it, it instantly like you know is smooth and it stays for a long time now um, I know a lot of you have messaged me saying oh you know you've started having uh, you've started getting dark circles and all yes it is because I'm not been able to sleep properly sometimes I'm sick so I'm not able to sleep and sometimes I just can't sleep like it's everything to do with your hormones so and plus I have been using this DIY mask for my under eyes which has been helping my under eyes a lot but it makes it very dry so this really helps with it so I kind of broke the lid so all you have to do is you know you just like press that and you'll see some why is it not showing I don't know ha, here so the cream will just come out and I will take some in on my fingers and apply it under my eyes once I apply this under my eyes I give it some time to like you know sit and uh, get absorbed it's very important to give that you know like five minutes before you apply otherwise everything is just going to turn greasy and your foundation will just slide off also I don't know why some of you all hate my um, band with the ears so I'm not able to like wear it why is it because I'm 26 and I can't wear bunny ears I will wear bunny ears till I die okay so once I let this sit next is my favorite favorite product this is vitamin C serum okay it has a uh, vitamin C vitamin E and hyaluronic acid 
um, did I say hyaluronic? It's hyaluronic. Hyaluronic acid. Okay. So this is I don't know the brand I will leave all the links in the description box but from the time I've been using this I swear my foundation looks so natural even if it's a matte foundation it looks so natural and I don't know it just like you know I enjoy applying makeup because of this um, serum now it is water based so it feels amazing on your skin so I'm just going to take few drops I also use this in my nighttime uh, skincare routine and I just put few drops Ooh, like those Instagram models I don't do this in real life I'm just trying to be like and then I just massage it in my skin and I love how this feels because it feels so silky smooth Now once you've like uh, massaged it into your skin, it gets absorbed very easily and it gives, it leaves your skin a little tacky so it's perfect for foundations. Now if I'm going out like to meet friends or anything, then I use a sunscreen. This is the Sar Beauty Skincare sunscreen and it has SPF 90. Yeah, it has SPF 90 in it and uh, it is oil free so even if you have acne prone skin if you um, you know break out easily because of sunscreens this will not let that happen but but if you are like you know going for a wedding or a party where you are going to click pictures then this is you know not a good option skip using this because this will give you a flashback if you apply your foundation on this and click photos this will definitely give you a flashback but if you're just going out with friends and all of that then you can just apply a very little amount of this and you're good to go Now what I like about the sunscreen is that it does not give you a white cast at all. It instantly kind of gets absorbed in your skin and you can hardly you know feel it and it also does not feel heavy. So this is everything that I do before makeup. Now even if it's just like normal natural makeup I still do it because it makes my skin look really um, you know flawless and it makes my makeup look very natural. So for me these three products go well with each other. Um, they've worked really well for me so if you want to try these products out I will leave the links in the description box but yeah this is how I prep my skin and I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something so please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell because a lot of you will complain that when I upload videos you all don't get any notification and you'll don't get you know any message nothing and um, yeah so click on the bell icon that way you will be notified and you can watch my videos so I hope that you guys liked it and if you did I just said that no I'm growing old children 26 okay bye